Welcome to County Office, your complete guide to local government services and public records. Let's start learning. How many signatures does it take to recall a mayor? Ah, the power of the pen. Or in this case, the power of a signature. But just how many signatures does it take to recall a mayor? Well, let's dive into the facts. Recall procedures vary widely across the United States, with each state setting its own rules. In fact, some states don't even allow recalls of local officials. But for those that do, the number of signatures required can range from a small percentage of the voting population to a majority. For example, in California, the number of signatures needed to recall a mayor is 10% to 25% of the votes cast in the last election for that office. In Wisconsin, on the other hand, it's 25% of the votes cast in the last gubernatorial election in the city. In other states, the number of signatures can be based on the number of registered voters. In Alaska, for instance, the recall petition must be signed by at least 25% of the number of voters registered in the last regular municipal election. But wait, there's more. Some states also have specific timeframes within which these signatures must be collected. In Colorado, you have 60 days to collect signatures from 25% of the total number of votes cast in the last election for the office. So, the answer to our question isn't a one-size-fits-all. It varies based on local and state laws. Always consult your local county office or Secretary of State's office for the most accurate information. Take a look at the links in the description below to learn more. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, leave a comment. We're here to help. Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. We'll see you in our next video.